<laughs> I do a lot of television, and when I interview other scientists on television, I always ask them the key question, the most important question of all, and that is, is there intelligent life on the Earth? <laughs> Well, I was watching the Kardashians on TV <laughs> and you may conclude there's no intelligent life on this planet. No, no way. However, I'm proud to announce that there is intelligent life right here in this room. In this room. We have the leaders, people who are curious, people who are innovators right here in this room a concentration of intelligence. Now let me say today, I want to talk about the mind. You know, over 10 years ago, I spoke right here at the Learning Guild, and there's been an explosion, an absolute explosion of research and development as we physicists use MRI, PET scans, to see how memories, thoughts, evolve as they ricochet inside our brain. In a lot of old wives' tales, we now can explain. For example, I was reading a scientific literature one day, and they came across an article. Why is it, the article said, why is it that a man, when they talk to a pretty girl, starts to act stupid? <laughs> You've all seen it. Well, they put men on an MRI scan. And they wanted to find out why is that when they speak to a pretty girl, they start to act stupid. And the answer is, blood drains from the prefrontal cortex. <laughs> and they start to act mentally retarded. <laughs> Absolutely true. So, these are just some of the books that I've written about the future of space travel, the future of humanity, physics of the impossible, my latest book is called The God Equation, and that's what I do for a living. You see, there are two things that are the greatest mysteries in the entire universe. The first mystery is the Big Bang. Where did the universe come from? The physical laws of the universe. That's what I try to answer in my book, The God Equation. Why do we have so many subatomic particles, electrons, neutrons, protons, neutrinos, hundreds of subatomic particles. We think they're nothing but musical notes on a tiny vibrating string. The missing paradigm of the entire universe is music. Each subatomic particle is a musical note on a vibrating string. So what is physics? Physics is the harmonies you can write on a tiny vibrating string. That's what physics is. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the melodies, the melodies you can play on these vibrating strings. What is the universe? The universe is a symphony of vibrating strings. And then what is the mind of God that Albert Einstein spent 30 years of his life writing about? The mind of God would be cosmic music resonating through hyperspace. That is the mind of God. But today we're going to talk about the other great mystery. The greatest mystery is what sits on your shoulders. What sits on your shoulder is the most complex object that we see in the universe. A hundred thousand neurons, a hundred billion billion neurons inside the living brain. It is the most mysterious object other than the Big Bang itself. And now, we physicists, with MRI scans, PET scans, EEG, we're now beginning to tease apart the mystery of how the brain works. You know, people historically have thought that the brain was a useless organ. The Egyptians, the Egyptians, when they would involve their pharaohs, what did they do with the brain? They threw it away. Aristotle, many philosophers thought that the heart was the seed of consciousness, not the brain. Now we know that the brain, with a hundred billion neurons, 
is the most complex object in our known universe.